Hello and welcome back to the second part of this discussion on intents. So um, the second activity in, in our Dice Games app we want to create is based on this uh, you know, traditional Japanese um, dice game, uh, often a gambling game called Chohan. So a brief description of this uh, and you can find more on Wikipedia. So briefly, you know, it uses a two, side, two standard six-sided dice um, and the dealer uh, plays against um, multiple um, players at the same time. The dealer basically gets the two dice um, in a bamboo cup, um, like shown in the picture here, and shakes the cup and uh, you know, keeps it, uh, puts it down covered. So uh, the bamboo cup is covering the dice. And then players place bet on whether the sum of the dice Basis will be uh, even, uh, which is which which is cho in Japanese, or odd, that is han in Japanese, um, and then the dealer reveals it, and uh, you know uh, based on whoever uh, or whatever uh, bets people's people have placed, um, they win the money or lose the money. Okay, that is the idea. Of course, uh, we'll implement this as a single player game, where uh, the app is the dealer, and then player is the player, right? Uh, the user is the player. So um, the coins they have earned in the uh, wallet activity will be passed on to the Chohan activity. And there um, they can set, uh, they can increment, decrement their wager amount and also um, guess whether the, the, the sum will be even or odd. And then when they roll the dice, they'll see the result. Okay, so here is a demo of um my implementation of that app um okay yeah let me share the screen okay so this air droid is mirroring my device so uh, we start with uh, zero uh, and the regular rules as we have seen um i'm not sure why it's so blurred hopefully it improves we interact anyway so uh, the player okay got a five i mean got a six on the first roll earning coins um yeah so it keeps rolling let's see okay got another six so i have now 10 coins let's add a few more okay 15 let's not be too greedy 15 is good okay and then you see um i've added a chohan button over here which i if i click takes me to um, this Chohan activity. On this, you see at the top showing the coins that I have from wallet. Um, and then here I can uh, set my wager amount and then guess. So let's say um, uh, four coins on it being even. Okay. And uh, I'll now click roll and let's see what happens. Okay. So yeah, I guessed it will be even. It's a three and five. So the sum is even. And as you can see, I earned four coins. Okay. Um, I'm feeling confident. So let's say now eight coins on it being odd, right? And oh, I lost it there. So um, the sum is actually even, I guessed odd, and now I have 11 coins. Okay. So after playing for a while, I go back and when I come back, it's really blur on this, but um, you know, it's showing 11 here. So I, um, so the, the, the number of coins I had at the end on the Chohan game is reflected back on my wallet activity. Okay, so that's the idea. This is how the game will go. Okay, so in this video, I'm not going to go and describe how to develop um, the the UI and how to how to exactly wire up all the buttons. Um, I'll leave it uh, to you guys. In fact, in class we'll do that as a in class activity. But let's quickly take a look at um, you know the high level steps um, and the high level ideas of creating an intent and passing the data. All right. So first of all, create a new activity. Go to uh, Project Tool window, Android View, and click on the App module. So you know, it, then it gives you the context-specific actions when you go to File New. 
So then go to File, New Activity, and choose Empty Activity. Um, that should show a window like this. And then inside here, put the name Chohan Activity. Uh, make sure you have checked the Generate a Layout File button. It will automatically put the name uh, activity underscore show underscore hand over here. Um, and uh, rest of the things, you know, probably this will be the defaults. If not, make sure you, um, it looks like this on, on your end. And then when you click finish, it will create two files for you. One is chohan activity dot Java. The second is activity underscore show underscore hand dot XML for uh, the layout file, the portrait layout file. Um, you should add a landscape alternate uh, layout file for this later. Okay, I'll leave that to you guys. Okay, now let's quickly look at the layout of the activity. Okay, so um, you have a linear layout at the top, which is, and yeah, the root is a linear layout vertical, as it says here in the component tree. Inside that first you have um, a horizontal linear layout, which takes the, which shows the text coins and then a text uh, view, which is the actual number of coins. Then another linear layout horizontal, which has inside it the text for wager, a button minus, um, the text for the actual wager amount, and then the button plus. Below that you have the linear layout horizontal, which shows uh, the label guess the sum and then a toggle button. So this is a, a special type of a button um, which basically toggles between the two states um, odd and even in this case. Okay. Then under that you have a button roll which if clicked should uh, roll the dice and adjust the balance amount based on uh, the wager, the guess um, and the uh, outcome of these. Okay. Now, a small difference from our wallet activity, the two dice are not really buttons, they are simply text views. Um, as a matter of fact, the button class inherits from the text view class. So, you know, many of the methods are going to be common or the look and feel will be common, except that this is not clickable. Uh, the dice, you, you just click the roll button to uh, roll the dice, you're not individually you know, clicking or flipping the dice. Okay, um, the dice are put inside another horizontal linear layout as you can see here. And then finally you have uh, the button which should take you back to the wallet, okay? Now this is just an example layout. Um, feel free to be more creative and make it more attractive um, and so on, okay? Uh, but this, this serves the purpose, the basic purpose that we want to do here. Next, <clears throat> next we'll talk again at a very high level about what changes are needed in the wallet activity. Of course, the first change is um, you put the Chohan button over there. Okay. Then, uh, yeah. Uh, all right, I want to say something about the XML code for the button. So you put in the button, give it an ID, you know, uh, add a margin so it's uh, separate from visibly separate from the die and so on. Um, and you will see a new attribute here on click, um, which is given a value launch show hand. So this is another way of specifying the listener. Um, when, you, when you put in this text, it will draw a red wiggly line under launch show hand, and then you can do a quick fix. So it will create a method public void launch show hand with a parameter view inside the wallet activity.java file. And the code you write inside that, uh, that method is the code that will be invoked when this button is clicked. So instead of doing a set on click listener uh, inside the uh, on create method of wallet activity, um, you can do it this way. Um, I prefer this way because you know it keeps the on create method pretty clean, uh, but different people may have different preferences. So this is just an alternative. You, you can follow either of the methods, you know, the, either of the ways of specifying the listener method that we have discussed. Okay, so what do you do inside that launch Chohan method? Okay. So 
for launching an activity, you know, remember that basically intents uh, carry bundles. So we'll do two things here. One, create an intent with uh, the component Chohan activity. And second, we want to pass on the data about the number of coins, right? Uh, how many coins uh, does the player have so that they can use it in the Chohan activity? All right, so since it's going to be a bundle, um, which is a key value pair and the keys are strings, so we need to create a key um, that is a string constant first, okay? So like this, a static final string, key balance equals key balance. And an important point here is the, this, this constant, this static final string is a package private. It's not a private for the class, it's a package private because we want to use this key in the other activity um, to extract the value of uh, the balance, right? So that's a small but important difference. And next thing is writing up the button. So we write this code in the launch Shohan um, method where you create an intent um, by calling its constructor, which takes two parameters. The first parameter is a context. Um, and since the activity class extends uh, the context class, not directly through several steps, intermediate, um, um, intermediate classes, passing a this here works. And then the second parameter is the component that you want to specify. So in this case, it will be Chohan activity dot class. So this is an explicit intent, which will uh, fire up that particular component when, uh, when we launch it, okay? Now, the next thing is uh, placing the um, balance amount on the intent and you do it by calling intent.putExtra, give it a key, and then uh, pass the int along with it. Okay. And then you call a start activity and pass this intent, which you have built up using the component name and the extra bundle. So this is the start activity call. You know, if you remember from the uh, sequence diagram we saw earlier, uh, that will take it to the activity manager and activity manager quickly figures out you are asking for the Chohan activity um, in this package. So it, it, it comes there and it basically calls its on create method. So what happens on the other end? On the other end in the target activity, that is the Chohan activity dot Java, this code goes in Chohan activity dot Java. There, uh, you know, you'll of course have to do a lot of other things, but this is how you extract the data. So um, you add the code, int balance equals get intent dot get int extra and then pass in the key and then the you know the default value so get intent gets you the intent that started this activity and then get int extra as the name suggests gets the integer out of that bundle um, remember you'll have to use the same key that's why we made it package private and we can access it using wallet activity dot key balance so yeah, uh, well, that's it. This is how you um, put the int on the bundle um, and put it with the intent and start the activity. And then on the target activity, this is how you can extract that data. So this is a simple example of using explicit intents. Uh, we'll go and um, you know build this activity first. And then after we are done with this, um, there are a couple other things. Uh, when when you do just this, we'll we'll be left with uh, a couple of bugs which we'll have to fix, and then we'll look at an example of implicit intents. All right, so we stop here. Thank you.